Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is chocolate distribution problem and it is an easy level problem. So the problem is fairly simple and straightforward. It says that we have been given an array of positive integers. So the size of the array will be n and each value represents the number of chocolates in a packet. Right. And there are a total of m students. So you will have to give one exactly one packet to each of the students m students and the difference between the maximum number of chocolates given to a student and the minimum number of chocolates given to a student should be minimum right so for example if the value of n is 8 and uh, you have these chocolate packets you have to choose five of them such that each student gets exactly one packet and the difference between the maximum and the minimum value is minimum right so let us see how we can solve this problem and how the answer is coming out to be 6 in this case. So if this is the like chocolates, so let me just also create an array. Right. So we will try to arrange all the elements in ascending order and then we will have a look at why we are doing this. I can take 1, then I believe I have 3, then we have 4 then 9, we have 7 first, then 9, then 9, then 12, then 56, right. So first of all, let us discuss how this answer can be 6. Uh, let's say if I take this particular 3 and starting from this 3, I take these 5 chocolates, the answer can be 6 because the maximum value is 9 and the minimum value is 3. So 9 minus 3 is going to be 6, right. So that is why the answer is 6 in this case because I can choose these 5 packets and the difference between the maximum and the minimum value is 6. Now how do we actually solve this question and why did I sort this particular array? So you must have seen yourself that after sorting the array, I was able to choose 5 consecutive elements. Right. How does this help? So if I am choosing the elements which are as close to each other as possible, then definitely this last value will be as close as possible to this first value. Why? Let's see another example. Let's say I have some values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Right. Let's say I want to choose 3 of them. So let me just take uh, some random values 2, 4 and 6. Right. If I write 3 of them, you will see that uh, the difference between these two values is equal to 4. But if I take any 3 consecutive values, let's say 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. Now this 4 will be as close as possible to 2, right. There will be no other way in which we choose 3 uh, numbers and the first and the last number are as close as possible to each other or the greatest and the smallest number are as close as possible to each other, right. So the most optimal method is to sort the array, right. Once you sort the array, you will have to understand this fact that if you choose any m consecutive integers. The largest and the smallest among them will be as close as possible they can be. Now I can extend this thought to my whole array. So what I can try to do is, for example, here we had to take 5 elements, right? So I can try to take the first 5 elements and find their answer. So in this case, the answer is coming out to be 8 because 9 minus 1 is 8, right? So I have to save this value somewhere. Now let's say I remove this element and take the ne next element. So in this case, the 9 value is same and we have to subtract 3 from it. So the answer is 6, right? So 6 is smaller than 8. So we are going to update our answer value with 6. Now we move on to the next element. So we are from 4 to 12. The difference is 8, which is not good. Then we are from 56 to 7. So it will be, I believe, 49, right? So this is also not optimal. Now 6 is the minimum value among them. So this will be our final answer. So the only key observation in this question is that if we try to sort the array, if we first try to sort the array and take the m consecutive elements, then the difference between the maximum and the minimum element is be, will be as small as possible for the starting element. And if I try to do this for all the subarrays of length m, then I will get my final answer. So let us have a look at the code. The code is very simple as well. So you see what I've done is I've just sorted the whole array. I've initialized my answer value with a very big value, which is 10 to the power 9. And I ran a for loop from m minus 1 till less than n and i plus plus. Why am I starting from m minus 1? Because uh, it is zero-based indexing. 
that is why when i take the first m elements it will be from 0 to m minus 1 right now the greatest element will be definitely at a of i and the smallest element is going to be at i minus m minus 1 right so how do i get this particular value that i need to subtract m minus 1 so you can take it that way like the first index is m minus 1 and you have to make this whole equation 0 because it will be starting from 0 till m minus 1 so that is why you can take i minus m minus 1 because this m minus 1 minus m minus 1 will be equal to 0 right so you can think of it this way and the rest of the values will always follow right now at the end you can just return your answer value and this will be your final solution so let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works so you see it passes all the test cases and this solution is absolutely correct i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and to be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems so i see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet in case you're one of them then definitely consider subscribing it's always free of course and you can always unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later so share this channel with your friends until the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye